Dobra Utro or Dobra Dan or Dobra Vecchi for whatever time it is, wherever you may be. What's up people? Welcome back to another video on the Bermsey channel. Today's reaction video is on the Red Star Belgrade fans, aka the Ultras, or also known as the Delia. Now I've been to a few games in Europe, as I've got a passion for football, as well you know, but I've never been to a Serbian football match live yet. For what I know about the Serbian football fans, they are hardcore supporters who don't stop singing and give you absolutely everything for 90 minutes and more. Now Red Star fans who I've spoken to, they say when they beat Liverpool 2-0 a couple of years back in the Champions League, the Maracana, the stadium, was absolutely rocking that night. I would have loved to have been there to have witnessed it. The Serbian football fan, as far as I can see, are definitely the 12th man. They make all the difference. Before I follow up the video, I just want to say, if there's any ideas that you have for future reaction videos, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll read all the comments and I'll see what I can do. Also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with future video releases. Okay, without further ado, let's check out the Red Star Belgrade fans. It's a bit different to the Premier League. <laughs> What's that acrylic there? Is that you say it's acrylic? Yeah? What does that say up there? Tell me in the comments. I'd like to know. <laughs> Just had to pause because I'm going to have to turn the sound down on these headphones because I'm getting deafened already. Incredible. Yeah, this is a lot different to going watching Birmingham City and Aston Villa. Totally different flavour. <laughs> what are they actually singing here? Let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to know. But keep it clean, it's a family show. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I've said before in a previous video, if you're a player coming out to that, you're just going to feel like seven foot tall. It's just like class. Another question as well, is it just for the big games you get up for or is it just like this every home game? If it is, very impressive. Okay, the fireman's just waiting there. <laughs> it's just like the whole place is on fire. You got a fireman there, and he's like, just like, yeah, just watch it, right? He needs to get hold of his hose pipe and just like, you know, <laughs> that is insane.
again, what they sing in here, let me know in the comments. You know, but like I say, keep it clean. <laughs> Obviously, you've got a teeth of a lion there. What does that represent? I'm not au fait with that, I'm not sure. Also, I wonder how long that TIFO's taken to make. You can see the artwork on that, it looks quality. I bet it took a lot of man hours. Yeah, I'm getting deafened out here. I've turned the sound down. Pyrotechnics add to the flavour of that stadium. It looks class. I've said before, I'd love it if we could take him into English games. That would be quality. <laughs> Call the stewards running away. <laughs> Another question for you Is the away support as good as the home support as well? I know this is at the Maracana uh, Stadium, which I can see, but in England, we generally find that the away support is a lot more louder than the home support. I mean, I go to Villa Park, I go to St Andrews at Birmingham City, and it's generally pretty subdued, but away support. That's when it's rocking. Is it the same for you guys? Let me know. <laughs> Definitely need to call the fire brigade. I mean, like I say, the place looks on fire. It's just insane. Like I say, no wonder all these stewards are just backing away. <laughs> Some spectacle. That is class. Also the drums as well, that adds to it as well, I like that flavour, 
It's a bit South American with the drums, really do like that. Absolutely unreal. How can you see a football match through that? <laughs> Yeah, you can't see a thing through that. I've never seen anything like that to be fair at a football match. That is just like, my head is blown. Mad. You see the photographers as well, they're not watching the match, they're watching the crowd. That's some spectacle. Now that TIFO to me looks like the Church of St. Sava. Am I right? Let me know. Looks very much like it. Uh, you've also got an eagle uh, as well on there. I don't know what that's to do with, but also let me know about that. Very cool. This is going to take a lot of organisation. You know, you see all the uh, the placards or the uh, piece of red paper which they're holding aloft. Yeah, this takes a lot of organisation. So whoever has organised that, kudos to you. That looks quality. <laughs> been to the Americana Stadium and I can only imagine the sound coming out of the stadium when it's full capacity. Really, really want to go to a match there. Check it out for myself first hand.
to be intimidating for an opposition player seeing all that going on as well. You're going to be thinking, you know, what the hell? But like I say, it definitely works in the favour of the home team. interested to know of Red Star fans as well. I know Partizan is your big game, but also which other clubs is a is a big game for you? You know, which which other clubs, you know, that game where it's going to be like intense, it's going to be, you know, the, the whole fans are, are up for it. Let me know. I'd, I'd really be interested because, like I said, I know about the Eternal Derby, but I'm sure you've got other rivals as well. Not as big as Partizan, but, you know, other clubs where... You know, you, you look for that fixture and you think, right, yeah, we've got, you know, this club away or at home. Let me know. Even if you're not a football fan, you know, just to go along to see that, that would be, you know, be, it'd be exciting to see. I've seen in my comments before, Red Star fans were saying don't sit in a certain section. Now, what would you recommend section for a tourist to actually sit in where they're not going to get in any trouble? You know, if you could let me know, this would be good information for people who, you know, they want to see the spectacle, but obviously they don't want to get in, involved in any, any ultra business. <laughs> so, yeah, if you could let me know as a tourist, which would be the best section for you to sit in? <laughs> something in England called Bonfire Nights, which is on November the 5th, where we have fireworks. This is like Bonfire Night times a million. This is mad. Are you a Red Star fan yourself? If so, let me know which was the best game you went to, which is the one that sticks in your mind. The best night ever. Also, if you're not a Red Star fan, say hello in the comments as well. Let us know your support. Chanting is a lot different to England as well. You can tell, even though they're speaking different languages, it's like they're singing. Uh, I've been told that English chanting seems a little bit kind of, uh, what's the word for, a bit flat. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you can definitely tell differences in the chanting. We have got some funny songs in England though. I bet you guys have as well. See the firemen are out as well again. <laughs>
Yeah, those pyrotechnics expensive. Also the smoke ones as well. How much are they? Be interested to know. I'm asking for a friend. I might purchase one myself. They look good fun. Insane. He can't see any football through that loss. <laughs> Do you know <what> I mean? <laughs> well, what can I say about that? That is mad, mad, mad. Like I said earlier, I've been to games in Europe, I've been to Spain, I've been to Ukraine, I've been to Turkey. I've been to games in England, but that, that looks something else. That looks proper intense. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I need to check out some Serbian football. That atmosphere looked absolutely insane. Okay, well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and also share it with your football fan friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.